everyone, I'm Jennifer Jiggis with Quilter Select, and I wanted to show you how to use the squared up rulers. The squared up rulers are available in two different sizes. One of the rulers is seven and a half inches on the outside and five and a half inches on the inside. The other ruler is eight and a half inches on the outside and six and a half inches on the inside. Why might you ask, do we need rulers with holes in the middle? Well, if we take a look, if you are, have ever done applique or machine embroidery, or you're simply trying to really fussy cut accurately a fabric motif, you are gonna love having the markings on the inside and the outsides of these rulers. On the center opening of the ruler, the measurements go from the, in, from the center of the ruler out. So this can be used as a centering guide, and that's true on the top, bottom, right, and left handed hand sides. So imagine you have a beautiful piece of hand applique that you're ready to cut down into your quilt block. Rather than having to eyeball it, you'll be able to see very quickly where the center of your motif, imagine that this is our applique design, we can see right away where those center points happen to be mathematically. And then you can take your rotary cutter and simply cut down through on each side and then across the tops and the bottoms. The edges of the ruler, the inside corners, are notched out so that as your rotary blade comes down through, it's gonna come past that opening and past that opening so that you'll have a nice crisp cut on all four corners. How amazing is that? Now on the outside, this is gonna be dual purpose for you. You have the center markings of your ruler here and then you have your traditional ruler markings on the outside. So I can also then use the outside edge, so I now have an eight and a half inch centering because I can still use these centering marks, but I can also use my traditional left to right markings depending on what it is that I'm cutting out. So with this ruler, I can center and cut both a five and a half inch, I'm sorry, a six and a half and an eight and a half inch quickly and easily, but I can also use that outer corner or outside edge of my ruler for traditional markings. You'll notice as well that if we are doing a fussy cutting type of a process, the quarter inch just to the inside all the way around the outside of the ruler is a little bit darker. So I can see very quickly if I am positioning my ruler in order to fussy cut a motif, I know which part of that fabric is gonna end up in my seam allowance. How convenient and how much more accurate we're gonna be with our projects. The other ruler in the family has an outside opening of seven and a half inches square and an inside of five and a half inches square. It also is cut into those corners so that you'll have a nice, clean, accurate cut on your squares. And then again, features that quarter inch of darker yellow shading on the outside edge and our center out measurements on the inside of the ruler. As with all of the Quilter Select rulers, it does feature that non-slip coating on the back side. So I know that I am not the only person who has ever tried to fussy cut a motif from my very precious fabric and had that ruler wiggle just enough that I was off slightly. With your Quilter Select rulers, you are going to be so much more accurate thanks to that non-slip coating that covers the entire surface of your squared up rulers. Machine quilters, you know that you always need to test out your machine embroidery designs before you commit to your project. If you want to use those test sew outs for a small quilt project or a piece, um, pillow tops or anything else where you need to, again, be able to accurately center that motif and cut, these rulers are going to be a lifesaver. So look for these and all the other Quilter Select products in an independent retailer near you.